Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So from the title you guys know what this video is about, I'm gonna be showing you how to match your foundation to your face. And I'm also gonna be trying out some new products most of the products I've never used before. I just sat down, put some products in front of me and we'll see what we come up with. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this blue hair, I will link it down below with the full review of this product. But yeah, love, love, love it. First and foremost, I'm gonna be going in with my primer today. This is a brand new one, the Lancome Prep and Matte. It has more of like a liquidy finish, which I like. Most of the mattifying primers, which I like the mattifying ones, um, you can actually feel them like drying your skin out immediately. I actually used this one for the first time yesterday. I really liked it. So I was like, I wanna add it to my next video. Now the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And my girl Jackie Ina collaborated with them and she extended their range. So if you are a melanated queen and you want to try out some of their new foundations, definitely look into their line because they have a really nice collection. I'm so, so proud of Jackie. Congratulations. I know that a lot of people already talked about this foundation and I am super, super late, but they just sent me this huge PR package and I wanted to share it with you guys. And I'm also going to use these foundations to show you how to color match yourself. Cause a lot of people do ask me this question. A lot of clients um, used to ask me how to get the right foundation tone for them. And then I think for the eye, I wanna do something like maybe like a winged liner smoked out situation. But we'll see where that goes. So they sent me, I'm gonna drop it, I'm gonna drop it and it's gonna be a mess. This is the box of foundations that Too Faced sent me. So they sent me their Born This Way Luminous and I also have the regular Born This Way. I'm really excited to use this product. I only used it one other time. I used like a really like shimmery base underneath and I had a, like a lot of shiny situations going on. So I just wanna try the foundation on its own. I'm gonna take this jacket off so that I can swatch properly for you guys. In reference to the shade range, there are nine shades total that Jackie created, bringing that number of the Too Faced line to 35. Coco used to be their deepest shade. Now there are three shades deeper and six shades lighter, which fill in some of the missing gaps that they had to just bring more diversity to to their range, which I think is great. It's really important to be very inclusive in reference to foundation and any other products, just because there are so many different skin tones across the spectrum. There may not be a shade for everyone, but just having more versatility, even if you have to mix, I'm usually a mixer. I'm always in between shades, but my shade is always available. There are some people that don't even have a shade at all. So I think that it was a great thing that she collaborated with Too Faced and just kind of brought some more versatility to their foundation line. I'm gonna give you a reference for Coco is the deepest or was the deepest, hello. And now we have Sable, Truffle, and Ganache. The first shade we have is Coco, which I'm gonna use as the reference. And this is the next deepest shade, which is Sable. So stunning. Then we have Truffle. And lastly, we have Ganache. So these are the three new additions to the Too Faced line. So we have Sable, Truffle, and Ganache. Next we have Tiramisu, which is lighter than Coco. This one is Spiced Rum. Yes, I love how beautiful these look. Next we have Chai. I forget if this is Jackie's shade. Just as a quick reference, we have Tiramisu, Spiced Rum, and chai. Next we have butter pecan. Then we have brulee. And lastly, we have praline. So with the exception of this one right here, this is the full range of the new shades that Jackie created. So stunning. And this is how it's done, y'all. So good. Jackie, you killed it. I also love that she spent some time honing in on those undertones. They're all not 
red. I see some warms and I see some neutrals as well. I think she did a really amazing job so congratulations again and now let me show you how to match your foundation I feel like that was such a waste y'all but I want to make sure you guys had some references so I just moved my chair up a bit so you guys can see my chest now some people do like to swatch their foundation on the inner part of their arm I personally don't because the inner part of my arm is lighter. This does not get the same amount of sunlight as your face does. And me personally, my neck is a lot lighter than my face because I'm always wearing my hair down. It kind of protects me from the sun. So I like to test my foundation shades on my chest. I grabbed three shades that were closest to my skin tone. So I grabbed Praline. Take a bit of that product. And I'm just going to apply it right there. Then I'm taking Warm Sand, which is the next closest shade. And I'm applying that right in the center. Then I'm going to take Caramel. So you can see that Caramel is a little more olive on me. I feel like Praline is going to be too light. So the one that's closest to your skin tone will almost disappear. So it looks kind of light when you put it on, but then you blend it out. It works with the chemistry of your skin, it kind of blends in. So praline's a little too light for me. I can probably use this one in the summertime. I mean, in the summertime, in the wintertime. And I feel like caramel's a little bit olive. So praline and, and caramel are out. Now I'm gonna go with warm sand. I'm just going to take this is this Makeup Forever foundation brush, which I just started using, I really like it. It's like a flat paddle brush, and I'm just going to apply that. And I'm not crazy about brushes like this for foundation, but I tried it and I actually really like it. I like to bring it down my neck, especially if I'm wearing my hair up because my neck is lighter. And I find that foundations that are like in this range sometimes look a bit yellow before you put them on and then you put them on and you're like holy cow this actually works for me this is a really pretty foundation it's a 12 hour wear it's a medium to full coverage it's now offered in 35 shades and it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup which is something that i really like my concealer, I'm going to speed through this part just because I feel like I add this in every single video. But I'm just taking some concealer. I feel like I haven't been using as much. Now, this one is super old, but it's one of my favorites. Um, so I just like grabbed it for this video. This is the Pure Cameo Contour in shade tan. It's like dead at this point. And I'm also using that same Makeup Forever brush, guys, which I think I'm gonna need to at least order one more, which is obnoxious because I have so many brushes, but I really like that brush. I'm also using a new setting powder today. I'm freaking shook with myself because I cannot stop using the Laura Mercier. It's the one that I've been using for years. And although I've like tested out other ones, I have not really like loved, 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 loved anything else. I'm lying, I really liked Patrick's powder, but I feel like if you weren't able to get it, it's really hard to get it now, so I try not to use it on camera because I feel bad, even though that's a really great one too. Okay, I just made a huge mess. So this is the Lancome one in shade Translucent. They also have shade Deep as well. I still like to bake. I know some people just like to just lightly dust under. I, I'm still very much into baking. I just add some, some powder and I keep it pushing. Now I'm just dusting off the center of my face. I let my powder bake for about a few minutes. And now I'm gonna go back in 
to that seam powder and just apply another thin layer because I don't want like any fallout to get under my eyes. So I'm gonna do brows really quickly. I've been using the new Pure Cosmetics. This is their Arch Nemesis. It's their four in one brow pencil. It has the pointed end so you can do your brows nice and precise. And it also has like that thicker end. So you can do like fuller brows, more like carefree brows. So I like that they have that versatility. It also has like the brush on the end. Where am I? I'm like, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm supposed to be going to dinner with my mom in a little bit and she just texted me like, are you almost done? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> head on over. I want to do like an elongated, like winged eyeliner kind of smoked out. Let's see how long this will take me. The palette I'm going to be using today is BH Cosmetics. This is their Desert Oasis. It is just their 19 color shadow and highlight palette. It is so pretty. I'm taking Canyon, this shade right here. I'm laying down a very little color just because I want a base, nothing too crazy. Because I feel like most of the work is going to be on the lash line. And BH Cosmetics has come such a long way, guys. I feel like I've been featuring their products more and more because they're just really freaking good and they're inexpensive. And that's something that I really like. I'm going to take sand right here on the end and apply that to the lid. I'm not really sure how I'm going to feel about it. Okay. Yeah, it's not too late. I feel like every time I do liner on here or on video, I always get so nervous. I'm like, what if I mess up? What if it's a mess? But I'm just going to go into it. This is the Epic Ink Liner by NYX. I don't want a lot on the top just because I want to smoke out that lash line. Yo, my stomach is like dying. Is anyone else drinking Shore? I don't know, they just taste so good. I know they make me like gain weight or something. I need like complete silence when I do my winged eyeliner. Okay, cool. I'm going to take a black coal pencil and this is what's going to help extend this look. This one is by Sigma. I'm just dragging that on the lash line and connecting that outer part. Taking a bit of Canyon, I'm going to just go underneath this dark eyeliner and this is going to just provide some gradient because I am going to start building that up building it into black taking the next shade which is dune getting a little bit closer lastly I'm going to take a black eyeshadow I'm using the one from Melt Cosmetics and I'm really gonna work in this smoke And I'm kind of blurring that line between the eyeliner and this portion that I'm smoking out. I want it to kind of become one. So you see the difference? It kind of just makes it very, very sultry. And I'm doing the same on the other eye. You could also use this trick if you mess up your eyeliner, you're like, crap, I don't have time to fix it. You kind of smoke out that outer portion. I'm just going to lightly blend out those edges we are winding down the blush i'm going to be using today is the jouet adore blush i love using brushes like this this is the pro precision tapered by luxie because it just distributes a really light amount of powder and it's like perfect if you're not into like heavier blush Cute. And the highlighter I'm going to be using, I think I want to go with Mirage, who spoke to my soul the minute I opened up this palette. I was like, mm, I'm coming for you. Oh, yes. I, I can see it on the, on the brush. Oh, that's pretty. I also cannot live without a tear duct highlight. I don't know what's wrong with me. 
I wear it in almost every single, if not every single look, almost every single look. So I'm bronzing up my nose a little bit, just adding a little bit of shape to it, makeup on my contact. I'm taking Moonscape. That's what I'm gonna use on my tear duct because it just seems like I need to. Yep, definitely needed to. My mom was just here like two hours ago. She's gonna come back a little bit like, damn. We're going to this like restaurant that I recently found that I've been obsessing over. And mascara. The hourglass one is just ultra black. It's like their brand new one. She gives me some length and some volume, yes. I'm actually loving these lashes so much. They're so pretty. They are by Love Lashes in the style Kim. These are by Kim J Love. Congratulations on the launch. Yes, so many people in the beauty industry are doing the damn thing. This is the lipstick that I'm planning on wearing. It's just a lip gloss, it's super shimmery. This one is by LA Girl, and then I'm gonna be using Uncontrollable by MAC. But I just want like a blotted look in the middle. I'm gonna throw gloss on this. These lashes just gave me all of my life right now. So you don't always need lashes. Let's be honest, if you're into wearing makeup, most of the time you probably do wear lashes if you are into like heavier makeup. But this look is just completed with these lashes. Love this look so much. This is the full look, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is this something that you would rock? Have you tried this foundation? Any of the other products that I talked about? So glad that this look came out okay in the time restraints that I had because I definitely did not have time to fix anything. So thank you, baby Jesus. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.